I'm Sarah Hanna. I am the Managing Director of the Old Flying Machine Company and we have been based at Duxford since 1982. MH434, which I'm standing next to today, is an exceptional Spitfire. The first person to ever fly it was the chief test pilot of Supermarine, Alex Henschel, which you couldn't wish for a better start for an aeroplane, um, to actually have him named as being the pilot who flew it first. Mark had extraordinary charisma, and if anyone has ever seen a picture of him, or has seen him in the flesh, they'll completely understand what I'm talking about. He first flew 434 when he was 24. Uh, he was golden, and immensely good looking, and tall, and charming, and knowledgeable, and this brought with it certain rewards. Mark very quickly became known. Uh, initially, on some of the projects that we were involved in, it was you know, pure chance. Empire of the Sun, which was a big, high-profile film for Steven Spielberg. Empire of the Sun took two Duxford-based Mustangs, ours and Stephen Gray's, along with a gentleman called Rob Slamplaz, and they were flown by Duxford-based pilots. They were flown by Hoof Proudfoot, whose son Lee is now our chief pilot, Mark and father. It gave us a great profile with the relevant people, both British and American. And so as a direct consequence of that, uh, when films like Memphis Bell started to burgeon and be heard about, Mark wasn't a shoe in but he was the first person they spoke to. And as a direct consequence of that, Mark became the aerial coordinator. And that brought that film to Duxford, which was incredible, because we had all those B-17s, multiple Mustangs, multiple 109s. Air shows are extraordinary things, and Duxford do them remarkably well. They are brilliant and brilliantly supported, not just by the local community, but by anyone who is interested in aviation across the UK and indeed globally. I think it, the Duxford air shows, particularly the September air show and Flying Legends have that reputation. You know, we cast our minds back to an era where young men, normal young men, were outstandingly brave and putting their lives on the line for the country. And then you combine that with art and complete professionalism in the modern sphere and all the ingenuity of design that goes into it. And it's completely magical combination. Because Mark was so pivotal to all that later film work in the 90s, and particularly the work that took place at Duxford, and because it will be almost exactly 20 years since my brother lost his life, they're going to be closing the display on Saturday and Sunday with a solo display in our beloved MH434. And I think that'll be a, a wonderful way to close the show.